I am breaking down how you can create these three stunning liquid shimmer effects with an after effects. Let's get started. First thing I want to do is come up to layer, create a new solid, and I'm going to name this Fractal Noise. Press OK. Then I'm going to come over to effects and presets and type Fractal again and I'm going to grab this fractal noise effect and drop it onto our layer. So we are going to create this base kind of swaying movement with this. So for this one I'm going to go to fractal type, go to swirly, I'm going to drop into transform, change the scale to 600. I'm going to bring the complexity up to 9.9, .9. drop into sub settings, change the subscaling to 80. As you can see there's no movement on this so I'm just going to hold down alt on the stopwatch and in this little box I'm going to type time times 10. So pressing play now you can see I've got a little bit of swaying movement to our liquid, to our gloss. Okay so next thing I want to do is add some colour and I'm going to use my favourite colour effect, Colorama. Drop this onto our layer. If you do not know this effect I'm not going to go into the details, just ignore everything else, go into output cycle and if you start changing these colors you can change what's going to show up here. If you move them around it's going to change how they show up. I'm just going to put in some colors myself but this is what I have ended up with. Um, now I just want to make it a bit more shinier, a bit brighter so to do this I'm just going to come over to effects and presets type in CC plastic and drop this onto our layer as well. I'm just going to come into shading actually and change this ambient up to 200. So that gives us a lot brighter, more reflective feel to our liquid. So that's the base of our liquid done but I do actually want to add some light like it is reflecting off the surface. So to do this I'm going to create a new solid and I'll just name this reflection. Press OK. I'm actually just going to come back to our fractal noise and I'm just going to press Control C on our fractal noise effect and just paste it onto our next layer, click invert. I'm going to change the contrast to about 542. Then I'm going to bring the bright, uh, brightness down about minus 55, minus 56 and I'm going to change the overflow to clip. Next coming into transform I'm going to bring this way down around about 280. I'm going to change the complexity to 6.4 and then drop into the sub settings. I'm going to change the, the influence to about 150. I'll bring the scale down to around about 50 as well. I'll just keep the evolution at 10. If you remember we put that time times 10 in there and if I press play and now we've actually got some kind of reflective looking liquid and all we need to do to get it to show up on our uh, pink base is to just come over to the reflection layer mode and I'm going to change this to screen. All I'm going to do is grab these two layers, right click and pre-compose. Make sure move all attributes is checked and I'm just going to grab the CC plastic effect again and just drop it on. I'm not even going to make any changes. It's just going to add this kind of interesting light. All right for this one we are going to go layer new solid and we're going to name this one fractal noise. Press OK. Come over to effects and presets and type in the same thing. Grab our fractal noise and drop it onto our layer. Alright so for this fractal type we're going to go to max and we're going to change the noise type to spline. We're going to change the contrast to 50 and the brightness to 46 and go ahead in the overflow and change that to soft clamp. Then on transform we're going to bring this way up to 600 again, bring the complexity up to 15. Then under sub settings I'm just going to bring this sub influence up just super slightly, bring the sub scaling down ever so slightly. And on our evolution hold down alt on that stopwatch, type time times 100. I've somehow created a keyframe, I'm going to delete that. Right you should have something that looks something like this. Now we're going to go to effects and presets again and get a new effect, we're going to type in mercury 
and grab this CC Mr. Mercury and drop it onto our layer. Now I'm going to be super annoying with this one and go into details with the numbers because if you change these ever so slightly it just gives such a different effect which is really cool. Play with this effect okay. Um, however right now copy me. Radius X is going to be 372. On the velocity we're going to change this to 11.5. We're going to take the birth rate right up to 200. The longevity to 18.2. Gravity to minus 0.5. That's going to make it go up instead. And we're going to change the resistance to 0.35. The animation type to twirly. And all of these can stay the same. I don't like to go too much into what each of these is doing. I know that I never actually do that. If you're interested in a tutorial, I suppose I can go into what all of these physics things is. Just let me know down below. Yeah, you should have something looking pretty crazy. All right, so it's opening up like this and then we've got, it's kind of settling into its movement right here. Now we are going to add our color. So I'm going to type in Colorama once again, drop this onto our layer, ignore everything, go to the output cycle and yeah, you can just choose what colors you like. I'm going to go with kind of a light pink. If you move these around, it's going to change the way it looks. That's what I have ended up with. Okay so we want to create another reflective layer so go to layer new solid. I'm going to type in reflection for this. Press OK and I'm going to be lazy. Come back to my layer. Press Control C to copy my fractal noise and Control V to paste it on. I am going to change these though so change the fractal type to dynamic twist. I'm going to leave spline where it is, but I'm going to change the comp uh, the contrast way up to like 1200, 1268, and then I'm going to bring the brightness way down. And then we're going to come into transform scale and I'm just going to bring that right down to 20. I'll bring the complexity up to about 18. In the sub settings, I'm going to bring the sub influence way up to about 1, 4, Eight, and our evolution can stay where it was as well. And I'm going to come back to my fractal noise and I'm going to grab the CC Mercury. So press Control C to copy it and then I'm going to press Control V to paste it. Just come down to the birth rate actually and change that to 50 and everything else can stay where it is. And then we're just going to come back to our reflection layer and change the mode to screen. You can see we've still got these black dots showing through though and I'm just going to grab a new layer, new solid and I'm just going to change the color to like, I don't know, maybe kind of a purple color, something like that. Press OK. I'm just going to rename this BG for background. And I do just want to do one more thing on our reflection layer. We're going to come to effects and presets, type in glow, drop that onto our layer. I'm going to bring this up to about, around about 90, I think we'll do. And just bring this glow intensity up a little bit. Yeah, you can play around with that until you're happy. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is just grab these layers and just pull them right out. This is so that our effect is just starting when it's full running liquid. Right, you should have something that looks like this. For our final effect, go to layer new solid and type in fractal noise. Press OK. Go to effects and presets type the same thing. Uh, drop that fractal noise effect on here. Now for this one we are going to change the fractal type to cloudy, noise type to spline. We're going to make the contrast 88 and I'm going to bring the transform. I'm going to keep it on uniform scaling and I'm just going to bring it up to about 553.6. Then I'm going to go to complexity and change that to 10. In the sub settings we can go to 66.7 and the subscaling can go to 38.5 and then on our evolution hold down alt on our stopwatch and in this box type time times 10. Right then back to effects and presets and type in mercury and grab this cc mr mercury drop it on and on the radius x we're going to go to 143 radius y 454 
If I come out here, you'll start seeing those changes again. Velocity is going to be 4.6. Birth rate's coming up to 150. Longevity can go to 22. Gravity can be minus 22.5 and the resistance is going to be 3.59. Change the extra to 10.4. Animation to twirl. Change this influence map to blob in. The birth size to zero and the death size to 1.54. I get so annoyed even at myself just like listing out those numbers so I'm sorry. Uh, but look at this cool effect that you get from it. So yeah this definitely reminds me of like running water uh cool so we're gonna go and add our color again so go to effects and presets and type in colorama drop it onto our layer ignore everything else go to the output cycle and i think i'm gonna do like some blues this time blues and yeah i'm gonna leave it like this all right so we want to make a new reflective layer so go layer new solid and type reflection and i'm just going to change this to white press ok and i'm changing it to white because this starburst effect that i'm about to drop on here has to be on a white layer it's going to change it to whatever color it is for this effect i'm just going to change the grid spacing down to like two the size can stay where it is um and just let's bring the scatter way up to like three to eight all right then i'm going to go back to effects and presets and type in glow and drop that onto our reflection layer i'm not even going to change this effect i'm just going to leave it with its ever so slight glow then i'm going to go back to my fractal noise and just copy that mercury so Control c to copy come back to reflection and control V to paste. Um, we are gonna change a few of these numbers though. The X can go to 189. The Y is gonna come down to 160. Bring the birth rate up to 200 and the longevity down to 4.9. Let's change the animation type to explosive and change this influence map to constant blobs and the rest is fine when i'm moving through here we can see that we've got a few of these black dots so i'm just going to create a new solid name it bg and i'm going to leave it white and drop it in at the back and once again i'm going to kind of start this where the effects just getting going so i'm going to drag these out to the start and drag these up playing through i can see uh these stars are kind of flying towards us and i don't want that so i'm going to go back to my reflection and i'm going to change the speed to zero and there you have it if you want to see what else you can do with fractal noise make sure to check out this video right here